Importing a map from DNA, into Cisco DNA Spaces starts at selecting the menu bar on the left hand side, then moving down to Setup, selecting Map Service. At this point, you can see the Upload button that will allow you to select a file. I'm going to, to uh, select a file. Normally, files will start with the term Import Export if they were exported from Prime. So I'm going to import one file. When I import the file, you probably will get a message that says map provisioning started, check upload history for status. If you click on OK, now if you select the upload history, you can see that I've imported this map from the, called the Innovation Center at this particular time. Now, if I go back to the map, I can actually see where that map uh, has been imported and I can see any uh, zones that may have occurred in Prime. The last step that you would normally do is you would enter the address for that particular map. So if you enter an address, uh, it will auto-complete that address, and now you can save that um, uh, so that the map appears correctly in the world map. Those are the steps required to import a map into the DNA Spaces map service as required for detect and locate functionality.